And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time again for the final installment of the Ultimate, Ultimate Gaming, Gaming Machine, Machine. 3. You know, we took a 1.2 gigahertz Athlon and introduced it to some really fast hard drives. There you go. Remember that? <laughs> wow, what great memories. And then we added a GeForce 2 Ultra and a whole lot of fans. And then a monitor. And man, what a monitor it was. 32 inches of raw graphical power. And the ultimate gaming machine was born. And then Patrick killed it. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Had people tuning in all week to see this episode, and they, you ruined it. They, they tell me, th this is the remains of Uggum right now. They tell me They I tell have, you. They tell me. Broke it. They, they tell, me, tell you. Hold on, Marty. They tell me I have till Monday to get it running again, or I have to sell my truck to pay for it. <laughs> That's yeah, the only way I'm covering the tab on that one. Seriously, what was the tab? Well, we'll get into that. Yes. We're going to get into the tab. It's... Yes. Very sad, <laughs> considering. It's a very large tab. But, you know, okay, so the thing doesn't work. We can talk about some peripherals. We're not even going to be able to plug in. I could have spent eight months in Tahiti for the tab of that machine. I wish you would at this point. <laughs> oh. All right, go on. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Today we're talking about games and game gear. Now we're going to show you the finishing touches. Ha <laughs> ha the ultimate gaming machine. But now we've got your Intel wireless keyboard right here. That's that key. Was, what's, Russ was slathering over this. Basically, no Russ cable. Russ slathers cable, a lot. Especially over wireless keyboards. <laughs> he just slathered in our ear, which I'd really rather not share with you. The Microsoft, we get that around there. Intellimouse optical. Can we see that? Let's, let's slide that to the front. Now, of course, the nice thing about that is no matter how much slathering goes on in your desktop, the little optical mouse that can. It'll just cut right through there with the optical technology. Microsoft Sidewinder Precision 2 joystick, because we haven't been able to break this one yet. And the Microsoft Sidewinder Game Commander, which should be this bizarre left-handed device here. And the Microsoft, where's the voice device? Somebody steal this? There's a headset. Uh, yeah, the, what happened to the little round thing the headset plugs in? Oh, here it is. There it is. There we go. The Sidewinder Game Voice is the combination of the headset and the little round thing. Now we got a whole bunch of games for you folks to go along with. Well, what does this thing do? I don't understand. Well, you put the headset on. Yeah. Right. And you talk to your games for commands instead of clicking with a keyboard. That's not going to work. You know what? Some people love it. I bet Thresh doesn't play that way. I bet he doesn't. Yeah. But you yeah. know, when I had my ultimate gaming machine at home, I, I had a, an infrared keyboard, and it was terrible. That was like because I kept I kept right? no well. It, it was a little bit better than that, but the line of sight kept getting broken. Because right. I used to play from my couch. So if you're a couch player, you've yeah. got to have an RF keyboard. Yes. Don't get infrared. No, infrared's bad. Yeah. We don't like line of sight. Folks, we've got some games for you, too. Quake 3, Counter-Strike, Crimson Skies, American McGee's Alice. Yeah. Now, okay, that's a lot of junk that we've put in here. So what's the final tally when we add it all up of UGM 3.0? Not counting the games? Yeah, not counting the games. Not counting I'll the give games. you that. $10,834, ladies and gentlemen, for a paperweight. Can we get a shot of my $10,000 paperweight? That is a monument to conspicuous consumption, folks. Oh, well. Now, well, we got Whoa. music again. Yeah, I guess so. That's because to help us finish off the Ultimate Gaming Machine, we brought in gaming champion Thresh. Thresh! 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 Oh, yeah, sure. You're going to make some room for Thresh. Thresh, <laughs> come on in here. Thresh, Thresh, exciting. <laughs> hey, what's up? So you are, guys. How are you doing, man? Welcome Thresh. to the screensavers. You are the world champion Quake 3 player, bar none. Uh, first person shooter. Oh, yeah. so it's, it, it extends beyond Quake 3. Well, I was the Quake champion, uh -huh. the Doom 2 champ. Quake How does one champ. become? I mean, this is not an Olympic sport. I mean, uh, not is, yet. Well, you know, we're looking to take it there sometime in the future. But there's, there's uh, apparently big tournaments. Oh, yeah, there was one tournament in 1997 where they... And you won a, that one. Yeah. And what was the top prize? Uh, 3-2A GTS Ferrari. No really? way. Yeah. Not you got a Ferrari? Yet. Yeah, I have a Ferrari. You, <laughs> is it parked outside? Uh, no, I don't drive it regularly. It's a little uh, expensive. I was going to say, it must be the insurance. <laughs> must be a nightmare to cover. Uh, insurance, uh, just gas. It's really? Gas guns. So you're like Hard the Tiger problem. Woods of Quake. Uh, if you Young, want to call fresh, it. out of the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so actually, we we're going to ask you, is, is, was Quake 3 still your favorite game? You know, there's a new game out, well, it's not new, but it's been out for a while, called Counter-Strike. Really? And it's actually a team game. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, and you go on there, you play five on five, and 
it's actually a killer game. And really? I'm really into that right now. But, you know, Quake 3 is Quake 3, and, you know, it's still a, you know, you can't beat Quake 3. Have you assembled, like, the four other best players in the world to be your team? Are you guys unstoppable? No, I actually have try to like I play, you know, for the most part with my friends and buddies uh, at the office or whatnot. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, we had a pretty killer team in the Quake days. Yeah. Nice. Sweet. Well, should, should we ask? We're going to ask you actually originally to christen our 3.0 gaming machine, which of course is a paperweight that I've yeah. killed. But but would you would you log in and, and play our viewers on the as the swan song, the goodbye to the ultimate gaming machine 2.0? I would love to. Sweet. All right, man. Rock on. All right. You better not lose because you're the Quake champion. <laughs> that would be really embarrassing on national yeah. TV. All right. Yeah, we're going to flash the IP address once again, and the server is called the Screen Savers. The screen All right. savers. Now you got to try to beat them, so get in there right now. You've probably already 10 people in there. I think Thresh has already killed eight of them. <laughs> All right, and that's our ultimate game. game, 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 game. Three, All right, and we will continue to add the latest and greatest hardware as it becomes available. For complete information on our UGM, go to the website. And thanks again to Thresh for coming in and whooping some serious butt in Quake 3 Arena. All right. All right, folks, up next, how to make a CD to fit in your shirt pocket when the screensavers continues.